Justin Bench steps in as we're set for the first pitch. One of the keys today against this Ole Miss lineup that is going to have four left handers in there. How does he use the changeup and the slider? Mike Bianco's got his group here. Over two decades, he's been the head man as we take a look at our batting order. One, two, left center field. Pettis, he calls it, and he runs it down. The shortstop swings at the first one, pops it up sky high. Catcher Crooks is going, and now the first baseman comes in. Not only are they not hitting it, they haven't hit any for a homer. And this one is where the shifted player would have generally been. Elko is aboard with a single. Nicholas playing on the other side of the bag didn't have a chance to get it. I did. He went back to the changeup, and Elko just put a good swing on it. You can see that split change. To see, was riding the ball deep into right field, and that one gets away from the catcher. Elko, who just appears to be injured, appears to be healthy. He's at second base. I like it. I like it. The old deke. And that one also got away, but it is blocked close enough that Elko doesn't hit to third base. Two one. That's in the left field. Pettis is up with it. He'll have no play on Elko, and staying at first is Graham, who picks up RBI 51 on the season and gives Ole Miss a lead here in the first. Well, that's how you get it started, right? One of your veteran hitters takes advantage of a fastball left over the middle. Runner goes. Hard time getting out of this glove, and they steal a base. That one gets away to third base is Graham, and... Steals second, advances to third. Alderman hard hit on the ground, and that one ate up the shortstop, Peyton Graham. That had a whole bunch of top spin on it, an error from the shortstop. Pass ball, and just like that, it's Ole Miss 2, Oklahoma nothing. Got him to chase. That'll do it. Maybe a little surprise. I don't know that we thought this was the name that we would hear, but only the fourth time that he has been out there in a starting role. A couple of guys with 17 game hit streaks. Yeah, Peyton Graham, the shortstop in the two hole, and Tanner Treadway, the center fielder. The nod, he's ahead one and two. Blue Bayou with a riding fastball, similar to what we saw from Dylan Delusha the other day. That's what he wants to do, what, he's, what you saw in that at bat. It's, it's going to be fastball heavy today if Doherty is going right. The home plate umpire. Playable shallow right Harris now backs up a few steps one more start on the ground a second Katya makes the play and a real good first inning for Jack Doherty three and two five regular season series went on to win the Big 12 tournament Mr. Bennett's feeling pretty good right now that's three in a row for Jake Bennett. Struck out Shotgate in the first and got Dunhurst on a fastball to start the second. Jam shot, slow roller. Second baseman's going to get it. Nicholas. Nope, low throw, and Robertson couldn't handle it. The hustle from Harris down the line to put pressure on Nicholas for a second. It looked like Graham may try to cut in front of him as a shortstop to grab. They are worried about it. Look out, another one gets past the catcher and down to second, 2 0. And that's into right field. Around third, Harris. He's going to score, and the wild pitch hurts Oklahoma again. Bench with an RBI, 3 0 Rebels. Gonzalez swings and a one hopper. And a good hop. That'll do it. Gonzalez retired. 2 2, coming back and looking up. And making the play is Hayden Dunhurst. Pretty cool. There's a little cool factor to that. Yeah. <laughs> Flip the mask and just let it come on back. Hard hit. But on the ground and it stayed down. Cutting is there and there is two. Well, and... <laughs> yep, tough hop. Sadway makes another one first for the Rebels. This one to right field towards the corner, tailing away from the right fielder. Two for two, his 24th home run of the season. All Ole Miss early, four nothing.
Hey, now. Mm. One, one, Graham. This one to right. The wind is oh. blowing out, too. Be careful at the wall. And it's caught. Called at the knees. Strikeout for Bennett. In Omaha, 2-2. Two, two. In the hole. Graham. Mm, nice throw. One ball, two strike pitch. Got him. Strike three. Seven up, seven down so far for Jack Doherty. 0-2. Oh, There's another one. Fastball, arm side run. 92. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. He's got three of those. And he's faced eight and got them all out. Look at you, Rav. Now we're calling the next pitch. <laughs> got him. Fastball again. That's three in a row. Four in the game. And through three, he's been perfect. How about good morning, good afternoon, good night here in the third inning. You say about Jack Doherty, hadn't started many games this year. John Hurst, that's into right field. That's a hit. One, two, that's to first. Stepping and not going to be able to throw down to second is Dunhurst side, but certainly for a World Series game. High chopper to second. Nicholas will get it and fire to first and down to third goes Dunhurst. Good pitch inside corner. Punches him out. They do leave Dunhurst. Gosh. That is the fourth strikeout in a row for Doherty for this year. 3 2. Wow. Another strikeout. That is five in a row. We talked about the fastball. The Doherty coming in has thrown about 75% over the course of the year. This is what it does. Backs up into an untouchable spot. This one drilled to right field. On the track, ranging to his right. He is, has built that program into a, a national contender on the field. Kept showing up, kept showing up, and now the success is followed. Jake Bennett's racking up the strikeout numbers, having with seven right now. Well, you look at the support of the program and the attendance and all those things, very similar. Good play by Jimmy Crooks. Or even Crooks after him. Tread away, one pitch on the infield third baseman. Wood is there. Hours, I think. <laughs> One, two on the ground. Nice hop for Elko. And there are two down. Wall ouch. Wallace Clark off of him. This is a tough play. To first, and he got it. How's the night going for Jack Doherty? Deflects off the pitcher. Gonzalez makes the play. He's faced the minimum through five. For Jake Bennett. He's been able to slow it down here recently. Good breaking ball right there to get Alderman swing. Eighth strikeout. Doherty has certainly validated the decision tonight. Shallow right center field, and it drops. That's a hit for Shotney. Your time is 3-3 to get to second base as, as Dunhurst goes down. It was 69-19 coming in. On the ground, flip to second. They get the force there. The longest perfect game bid in World Series since the NCAA tournament expanded back in 1999 that he's had. And that success is now over. So we talked him right into that. <laughs> Designated hitter Orduño, and he rips this one into right field. All of a sudden, Oklahoma got two base runners on. Now he bunts, and it's a good one. Fielded by Wood off the line. Back up, and here's the throw home. Not in time. They do get the run. Nicholas scores. As Garrett Wood barehanded it and threw it past Elko. And the backup of Shania didn't do anything. It still allowed the run to score. It's first and second. Spikerman. Oh. Nope, that's high. Bases are loaded. Sure was. And the Ole Miss fans certainly on the first base side. A standing ovation. Team out to greet him. Oh, he got him. He threw another one up in the zone. And the slider gets Nichols to swing and miss. A huge strikeout. Nope, fastball, and he got him as it's foul tipped into the mitt. 94 mile an hour gas up top, back to back strikeouts. Man, how about the freshman now? Just coming in with ice water in his veins, making pitches. Whoa. That's inside, that walks in a run. Ball four to Tanner Treadaway. Swings at the first one, right back to the pitcher, Nichols. Okay, base is loaded, nobody out, two runs. He faces the nine-hitter, Harris, and he gets him with a strikeout. That's punch-out number 10. Oh. Just misses, and that's a walk. 
Score their first run, then the solo home run and a third, and I've done it again. Another one, 100 looked like off the bat. That goes into right field. Gonzalez will go to third. Tim Elko in game one of the World Series Finals has three hits. The first. Right back to the pitcher, and the inning is going to end just like the last half ended. We move some positions around. Justin Bench now at third base. T.J. McCants is in center field. The game was rolling there. And how about Nichols? Punch out of Wallace Clark. Got him. Another strike out for Nichols. That's his fourth. Called strike three. Mason Nichols, the freshman, shines. One, two, and that is out of the reach of Nicholas. Into right field goes Kemp Alderman. That's himself. <laughs> Center field. Treadaway, good jump, and he can't get there. Right in front of him, try to deep the runner. Got it down. They say go to third, and they have him there. There'll be no throw to first base. Alderman going. Oh. Here's the throw to third. <laughs> Safe, and did he hold it with his foot? Okay, now watch. These two are sync, so you should be able to tell if the tag is there. Not yet. No, but it is now. And the third base umpire, Scott Klein, was right on it. The call on the field will be overturned yeah. to out. Yeah, big out. Now T.J. McCants bats for the first time. It's only a two-run game. You get McCants here, and you're still in business. Two down, 1-1 one, one pitch. This ball driven to right. Going back, Spikerman. See you later. And a two-run home run for McCants. A huge hit for Ole Miss. Six-two Rebels. Second hit in Omaha for McCants. Look at that emotion. And another shot. This one deep to right center field. Going back, looking up, and it's gone. Back to back home runs. The bottom of the order. Harris leaves the yard. DJ McCants, a two-run shot. Calvin Harris exit stage right. Left on left, and he changed it. Justin Bench, now. wait a minute. Back to back to back. Three in a row. Justin Bench, fourth of the year, eight to two. And Ole Miss has got the sticks out. Brad Cressy, Clint Earnhardt, Wes Davis. Last time we've gone back to back to back. Middle relief here. Ooh, a shot that deflected off Campbell to the shortstop. Have made themselves very comfortable. This would not be a comfortable guy, Mallets, to. Mm. <laughs> that's a ball! That's a ball! You can hear the home plate umpire screaming that that's a ball. Oh. Now he missed that pitch badly, and now Pettis will round third. He's coming home. The throw from the right fielder is spiked. Off the end of the bat, he'll flip to second. That'll be the third out. Breaking ball. This one is into left. It drops. Tim Elko has four hits. And there's another one. Left center field. Treadaway. Not going to get it. Double by Alderman. Popped up, and now the infield, which was in, has to go back to try to get it. Spikerman I don't think anybody is going to get it. Spikerman never saw it. Elko comes in, down to second, goes shot in the eight. In that area. Next pitch, this one to left field. Pettis didn't see it. Now he dives and makes the catch. And the run is in. Means he was ready to go. Oh. Just missed. That got the up, and that's a fair ball over the bag. And it's second and third. There it is. The throw down to first. Ole Miss will win game one, 10 to three.